Are you bored of using your Windows platform guys? Or are you afraid of dual booting your system? Or are you hesitant to use the virtual machine? So this video is for you guys. You neither need to dual boot your system nor to install the VMware. You just have to do is double click the application as you normally run a software. That's all needed. So in this video we will be seeing about a detailed walkthrough of the new Octite OS. Like where to download the OS, how to install the OS and how to use the OS. So if you are watching this video for the first time, hey guys I am Dhanashekran and you are watching me on the YouTube channel Your Tech Bro. So without any further delays, let's dive into the video itself. As you guys knew, we are striving hard to achieve a decent amount of subscribers count on this channel and also to bring a quality content to you. So show your support by subscribing to this channel and hit the bell icon nearby. That means a lot to us. And guys, and our next goal will be to reach 1000 subscribers by the end of this December. And it all doesn't happen without you. So join hand with us for the upliftment of this channel. Open a browser. Just go to Google and type OTA systems or uh, I have the links in the description just go via that. You see the website uh, OTA systems just scroll down you get an option download now. The reason I am proud is this OS is completely an Indian makeover OS. This OS is uh, designed by a person and uh, it's from India, Katak. So it's completely an Indian makeover. So just let's download the OS. Hit the download button. Let me just scroll down. It says Octoid OS. Okay. You get three fonts. You have to download all the three fonts. As I have already downloaded all the fonts, let me just show you how they look like. So, you see, there are three zip folders. There are three zip folders. What you have to do is extract the zip folders. And I have already extracted all the zip folders and then placed it in a single folder. And uh, after extracting, you get 11 folders. Keep it in mind, guys. You get 11 folders including the text document you get 10 font folders what you have to do is just right click and then install in the administrator font and uh, as you see i have already installed it you guys have to do step by step install each and every font to your system by the same process just right click and just click install after this process completes let's go to the browser scroll down you get an option to download the exe file of the OS. This redirects you to the Google Drive where it shows the size of the OS. 
it's around 166 MB you have to click download and uh, I have already downloaded it as you see guys this is the exe file right click on the setup file and then run it as an administrator As this OS is already installed in this uh, system, I get these three options. But uh, for you, the new users who are installing for the first time, you will be just directly uh, going to the installation process. So I just click uh, repair here for any issues on the OS. So I just preparing. Okay, the installation process is completed. Let's just click the close button and then we'll just move out from this uh, file. Okay, to the desktop, you'll be just getting this icon, the Octet OS icon. Right click it and run as administrator. So, it's just booting up. It says please wait we are loading the awesomeness And uh, as I said, yes, I've already used this for a time and I have already set the password for it. So, the first time boot up will not be like this, you'll directly get into the home page. So, this is the home page, you'll be getting lots and lots of widgets in this. It's completely easily customizable, as you see here. You can drag anywhere, drop anywhere, edit anywhere. So, let's go for the applications. These are the pre-installed applications of the Octrite OS. Let's go to the next page. Yeah, here it is. You get an FM radio too. Let's go back and go to the widgets. These are the pre-installed 13 widgets in this. So you can edit this. You can just take one or remove one. Anything. Let's move back and double clicking anywhere in the home screen will uh, literally change the wallpaper there are around uh, 8 to 10 HD wallpapers being pre-installed in this over the top you'll be having some options you have a pre-installed music player in this you can add your music anywhere on the go yeah, the screenshot option. You'll be having a notification, change the volume, silent, mute, anything. The Wi Fi connection, the battery percentage, battery saver mode, everything. You'll be having the clock, you can set alarm in this. So, this is the account. This is also widget uh, where it shows the space in the C drive and uh, the total space as well as the free space available and uh, the battery percentage whether it's being charged or not everything and uh, you will be getting a pre-installed terminal like the C command or the command prompt in the windows and uh, you can also take a screenshot of this. And uh, moving on to the next one, this is the notes taker, like uh, the notepad in the windows, the same work this also does. 
and uh, the next is the browser the range all the browser let's mode and uh, next one and uh, this is a pre-installed studio and uh, you can just edit the images crop rotate like the photoshop ones and next is a video player like the vlc media player or the windows media player in the windows and the next is a music player as we have already seen that and uh, this is the place where your images all the screenshots will be saved let's uh, move out from this and uh, the next is an interesting one this is a paint similar to the one that we have in the windows and uh, this does a tons and tons of uh, important stuff pretty more than uh, what the paint does this is the file explorer guys where you can just explore your files and uh, open it or delete it etc and uh, these are some of the important widgets uh, present in this so I like this one where uh, you'll be having the CPU status so guys we have reached the end part of this video concluding that this is to be the best and the most simple UI that I had used till now so you guys experience yourself and do let me know in the comment sections below as a show guys if you like this video hit the like button and if you dislike this video please do let me know with a good reason so that we will rectify it on our next video and uh, that's it guys i'll catch you up on my next video until then stay tuned keep updated thank you guys